Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today we're gonna discuss how to choose the right duration for your program. Um, specifically, I wanna talk about one specific duration today, and that is an eight-week program. Why would I write an eight-week program, and why would I not write an eight-week program? So the biggest benefit here is Eight week programs don't require too much work and you get to use them for eight weeks. Like in general, maybe a standard duration of a program is, is about four weeks before you really change stuff up. Um, eight weeks lets you, you know, stick with that thing, take that little bit of work that you have put in and and really, you know, bleed as much out of it as you possibly can. Um, it's not just a sheer laziness thing, though. It's also good because it gives you eight weeks to get better at something. And so if you're still on, if you're on the same program, like you don't need to change it. Even if you go through eight weeks and it's just it feels like it's been too long, you don't need to change it as long as you're still seeing the results that you want to see, as long as you're still, you know, getting faster, getting stronger, putting on muscle. Like if the program is still serving its purpose, don't get rid of it. Um, and that's that's where the the eight week programs really shine. And and specifically the people who are going to be able to bleed the most out. I keep saying bleed, but I think squeeze is the term squeeze the most out of this program are beginners. So if I am somebody who's totally new to working out and I don't even really know how to squat, well, then I can spend three weeks of my program learning how to squat. And then I can spend the other five weeks of my program getting my reps up to like uh, being able to do an unbroken set of 10 with really good technique. A lot of times you get a beginner who's never really squatted and it takes them, you know, you know, one one week you can usually get it. But if they walk in the next time in the next week, they they probably can't just reproduce it on their own. And so you need to kind of reinforce that pattern. And there's two weeks there and then you go third week and they know how to do it. But they like they they can't keep that technique and they start to lose that technique on their own. And so now you have to teach them what it's like to maintain technique when your muscles are feeling so crappy and they're starting to burn. It's a totally different uh, experience for the lifter, but it's something that everybody has to learn if you're going to progress in the gym or in your body composition goals. So eight weeks works and you know, We've only outlined three weeks there. That leaves us five weeks to just build and keep putting weight on the bar and then to actually get stronger and not just, you know, to refine your technique. So eight week programs are not necessarily a bad thing. They're not necessarily even a lazy thing. They can be really good for beginners. They're probably not good for you if you're a pretty advanced trainee. Like if you've trained for three years without missing a day, like, yeah, you're you're probably not going to be able to <laughs> bleed out, squeeze out eight weeks of the same program. You're gonna have to, you know, you can keep the same structure maybe, but you're gonna have to kind of uh, change the primary exercises, change those uh, those multi-joint, big bang for your buck exercises that you kind of base your workout day around. You're gonna have to tweak those around if you're gonna, you know, do the same kind of uh, set, set and rep scheme for eight weeks. So there you have it. Uh, if you're writing a program, you might want to choose eight weeks, especially if you're a beginner, but probably not if you are an advanced trainee.